What's up guys, Lubers Outdoor Adventures here. Got an episode for you today. I'm gonna be taking you through the Lund 1900 Tai. This is the 2016 model. And I'm gonna be showing you uh, what we got on it here. Bought it from Wakanda Boats in Republican City, Nebraska. I'm just gonna be taking you through what's on it. Got the Tempest Plus started in the back with the uh, 200 horse Mercury Verado. Well, we'll start with the outside of the boat. The main thing here is the 3D Lund logo. Now on the video that uh, Wakanda Boats has, they don't really show the uh, 3D that well and you can't really tell that, it's, um, that it really stands out and sets the boat off. But as you can see, chrome on the outside and it's 3D, it looks really nice. For the trailer, which also doesn't show that well in the video, it's got disc brakes in the back, two wheels, spare tire, got your ratchet up there and your wheel, got your uh, retractable tie downs in the back here, show you how these work quick. You push this little tab when they're uh, attached and then that'll allow you to retract it. And then simply when you're finished launching, you put it back on and then you pull just like this and it tightens it. Give it one more. So that's what you got for the outside. We'll get to the inside now. One thing he doesn't do that well on the video, which is what I'm trying to do for you guys is kind of make a little better video so you guys can get a handle on the size. I'm about six feet tall and I can lay down this way and obviously have plenty of room going this way. So just so you guys have a um, idea how big the boat is, because that's one thing that I was curious about from watching their video before we got this in. But uh, starting in the back, you got the flip up seats, starboard and port side with the storage underneath wired for a kicker motor stereo system in the back on each side again another seat live well right here lighted and timed got some buoys in there you got your ladder here swim ladder that just folds out nice a uh, couple handles throughout um, the seating around the bow as you can see on the side here and um, this this boat has the pro track system all the way around the outside that allows you to put accessories and different kind of mounts on there uh, it's got the ski pylon hardware we store this in the side gunnel pouch as you can see we got a ski in here but there's the ski pylon the top is stored underneath as you can see this little thing flips down and then you can pull out the top and uh, deal with it like that. Cup holders and a little spot that we're using for lures. Comes with four seats. I have the two out right now. Really opens it up, give you a lot of room. Uh, moving up, you got uh, the space for your kicker motor if you were to have one on. Other than that, a couple of cup holders and a uh, the um, throttle for the Mercury Verado 200 horse. Moving up to the steering wheel power tilt steering as you can see uh, the infinity infinity sound system it's got Bluetooth and the radio all your switches up here your master power horn lights interior lights bilge spots for charging all over 12 volt USB and augs right there all your gauges up front spot for your key right here and some little spot for storage there and then more storage underneath here. And then on this boat, we got the uh, Hummingbird Helix 10. Got your eye pilot, eye tracks, all that good stuff, follow the contour. Got the Navionics chip in there. So that's really nice. Uh, your windshield, obviously, folds down in front here. Got your um, little, uh, geez, what's the word? Oh my God, I can't even think about it. Well, I got another storage compartment here. 
Here's the remote for the uh, hummingbird. And uh, so on the port side, gunnel storage, more skis in here. And on the starboard side, like I said. Before I forget, obviously, you got your main rod storage underneath. Holds 10 rods, the bottom row is seven foot rods, top row is maximum eight foot rods. We got our rods in here. Subscribe to this channel guys, because I'm warning you, this next week, we got all the rods in here, and this ne this upcoming week, uh, we are going up to the St. Lawrence River for our 13th annual trip. We spend a week up there and catch a bunch of northern jigs, everything gonna be crazy so if you guys want to see that which I'm sure you do if you uh, are watching this video then uh, make sure to subscribe and uh, you won't miss out on that at all but more storage here a lot of guys put the uh, plastic uh, tackle boxes in here bigger than this though they they take up like the entire square here so that's a good addition in here you got the cooler Got the cooler here. Uh, this comes out, if I can show you here. All right, cooler comes out, and these things right here allow you to push this down, and you can kind of open it up to uh, your bow riders. Then, uh, let's see. Then you got um, you got your live well. You got your live well here, front live well. Uh, more storage right here. Battery is right here for the trolling motor. One, two, and then there's one more over here in this uh, compartment. This is a bigger, large compartment. Got the battery down there. That's the third one. So plenty of battery life for this Minkota. Uh, up in the bow, more storage, mainly for the trolling motor. We got the foot pedal in there and stuff. As you see, LEDs throughout the whole boat. That's uh, where you plug in the trolling motor. Spot for the light up top here. And uh, netting along the siding here. That actually, there's uh, clips up underneath, right there. These clips allow you to clip the netting up like this so it uh, can hold things sturdily. One more thing, uh, like I said, I'm like six feet tall and I can easily put my feet out when I'm sitting up here in the bow. Just another uh, reference for you guys so you get an idea of how big this is because you couldn't really see that on the video that uh, the other videos that are out there. but. Uh, that's what I got for you guys on this 2016-1900 Lund Taiyi. So be sure to subscribe. Uh, we're going to the St. Lawrence River, like I said earlier. It's going to be a crazy week. A lot of fish for you. And uh, you're not going to want to miss it. That's for sure. Well, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.